And I wanted to show you guys around uh, a new Taiwanese park because I'm going to show you around. Uh, I want you to get the cost to rent this place. It's nothing like crazy, uh, but as we show you around, you can have a guess, type it down below, type it in the comments if you're watching live. Um, and then at the end, I'll answer some questions because I did put this on Instagram and I asked you guys a bunch of different questions, so we'll answer those. That's how the video's going to work. Um, it is new, it's very nice. Let's lock on the door, knock on the door. I can't knock on the door, my drink's in my hand. Hopefully he lets me in. Success. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kiwi, I had to, I had to end that intro short because the echo was so ridiculous. That was quite an echo, yeah. Yeah, um, if you guys uh, have been watching me, you know Kiwi from a few videos that we've done. We've done a lot of like travel videos, hopping on our scooters. Yeah. Get yeah, drunk. Key. Yeah, you want to yeah. Guess. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks for letting me uh, tour your apartment, brother. That's right. Now, he's moved in uh, with his girlfriend, Dave. Where's Dave? <laughs> Hello, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I call it Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I call it Dave. <laughs> and, um, they're not completely moved in, so there's some boxes lying around. Excuse it if you're the type to complain about a perfect move in. It's only been like a day and a half. Yeah, house. seriously. So yeah. thank you so much for letting me do this, by the way, because they are just like freshly, freshly yeah. moved in. Um, we don't have a mattress yet. That's they don't even have a bed yet. Yeah, so if you're going to complain about a few boxes, that crew, that shows me that you've never moved a house before. This is the most stressful experience ever. Uh, I, apologies for our appearance, by the way. It's like 34 <laughs> degrees with 80% humidity is disgusting oh, yeah. outside. So if you were here in Taiwan, you'd be dressed the same. So this is a brand new apartment, yeah? It's like, oh, I think two years old, I think. Two or three years old. It's, it's brand new. spanking new. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's newish. Newish, new yeah. Ish. Yeah, it's pretty new. Yeah. Um, any questions you guys have, just pop them down below. There's only like 43 people watching now, but whatever, there'll be more later. Um, now you guys have seen, if you've watched my video, um, you guys have seen my place. It is half the size of this and half the, well, I can't tell you the price. I can't tell you the price. Because they, uh, my, the, the deal is they have to guess how much your place costs oh, okay. all right, all right. by the end of the video. Now, where do you want to start the tour? I don't know. Just the, 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 well, toilet. Uh, the, the toilet? Well, this uh, is the entrance. So you, you walk in there. It's really nice. Notice the low ceilings. Black. Real nice and modern. Uh, these are real plants imported from uh, Bolivia. Yep. It's cocaine. Colombian, isn't it? Oh yeah, Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Those are those. No, are, those are. If, if this was real, you'd get loads of bugs. And it just came with it. I didn't buy the bush, but yeah, and there's no yep. there's no yeah. uh, light even to support them. Uh, there is. is it? No, I mean like sunlight, dude. They don't oh. they don't grow with fucking. Oh yeah. <laughs> they don't grow with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like you come in, and then in yeah. Taiwan, you gotta take your shoes off. So they've got like a little rack there, and then what is this? A shoe door. What? Like a like a shoe shoe cupboard? Like I've okay, I've got three pairs of shoes, Dave. Has a lot, a lot more and, shoes. And who bought you one of those three pairs of shoes? Oh, yeah, one of the end, so. Okay, so you stick your shoes in there. Yeah, so there's like your shoes. Alan says, I don't believe you about the pants. Plants. The pants, the plants. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Shoes, it's not that Those are literally all Dave's. Yeah, except those ones, which are the ones you bought for me by accident. Yeah, those are some nice yeah, shoes. Yeah. Dave's got some more shoes somewhere, but I don't know where they are. But. Fucking hell. All right, so that's the entrance, which is like this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this like one of those real estate agents that have like those really famous, like fancy houses. So it's like, and you got this standalone, uh, what did you call it? A shoe door. <laughs> All right, uh, and then is that yeah. the bathroom then? Uh, yeah, that's the toilet. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Uh, I'm, I guarantee the microphones are switched on this piece of shit phone. All right, so pretty standard. Not, it's, it's not, it's not biggest, standard though. It? Have you seen my bathroom? Uh, yeah, that's true actually. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shower. Yeah. Um, works. Hot, cold. Now what's what really cool nice, about your bathroom? Yeah. Yes. Explain. So yes. this is a beautiful technology from Japan and basically, I'm, I'm not going to open it in case I've left something. But, <laughs> yeah, but I closed it. I don't remember. <laughs> no, I, I went again. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so you, you've got like spray functions for it's like, all in Chinese. Yeah, so like uh, that's like your power hose for your, you know, your exit, and that's your, like your, your, your front front exit if you have one. Oh, no, this one's the front exit. I'm not sure what this one. It's like a low 
it's looking Massaging, up well, uh, hinting, yeah, soft, it is it's soft. Change your hair. Uh, this is the emergency stop. Really? Uh, pressure. And oh, then the th sound is good, thanks, Ella. Positioning of like... What, like forward and back? Yeah, so if you've got like, you know, saggy something, you can just go back and forth. Saggy balls, Josh yeah, saggy balls. Yeah, uh, I, I have never made it to the back panel. I assume that is just, fucking fancy. What does all that yeah. do? I don't know. Jesus. So, and does it does this does it warm the seat? Yeah, it's warmed warm the seat, which is really unnecessary in Taiwan. Uh, except yeah. maybe, <laughs> maybe in the winter. Except for like the one month it's cold, but yeah. That is nice. Yeah, no, the, you, yeah, the toilets are good. Yeah, and I like standard uh, mirror with the sink and all that. This feels like I'm invading your privacy. No, it's alright. Only I've only been here a day, but the last place did have a tub, and a tub is really. Nice. It's nice, yeah. I yeah. like it tub. So that was a bit of a negative, but you can't have it all. And then, did you guys replace the shower head yet? No, we haven't. Not yet. Yeah. I just gotta get replaced. It's a bit of a shit one. Pretty but... standard bathroom. Yeah, like, yeah, I would say like... my bathroom is like this. My entire bathroom was like the size of your just your shower. The shower, yeah. I feel like to be honest, I wouldn't mind even just making a bit smaller, just to have a bit more bench space. To be honest, but yeah. again, that's really nitpicking. That's yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's just nitpicking. Yeah. Nice bathroom now. All right. All right, so yeah, that's the entrance, box is laying about. And then I'm gonna show you guys, like this is just the majority of the, it's not all of it, so stick around, it's not all of it, but this is most of the apartment that you can see right when you walk in. Um, but I think the star of the show is this friggin' refrigerator. So let me step back, I've got this like closed lens on my camera. So that's the whole kitchen, okay? So remember, you're trying to think of, someone says don't break the bathroom door, Prezi. Um, <laughs> Because I, I did break a bathroom door back in China. Um, that's the entire kitchen in its entirety. So keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out how much this place costs. Because that's the game we're playing. How much does this place cost? Yeah. Now the kitchen's nice, but like the, I, I really feel like the fridge is the star of the show. This fridge is star. One point I will make: if you go to yeah. a newer place, uh -huh. uh, a lot of like you can't drink the tap water generally in Taiwan, mm -hmm. but you can try. Ones, these ones you can try. It's not going to go well. Mm. This one has the filter. Like it's got a filter in. Okay, it's buried somewhere in there, but That's okay. it's just basically, full of, full of bags. yeah, it's a filter, and then you can drink from the tap using the filter tap, uh, which can save you a lot of money. So you drink, you can, from yeah, this, you can drink that, yeah, but don't drink don't from, from this. this one. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 because this one's connected to a filter, and it's right. it's okay, and that does save you a lot of money from like buying barrels of water every week. Um, I will say, okay, the way we're about to describe this fridge <laughs> is as if me and Kiwi have never seen a modern fridge. It's fucking technology. It's fucking nice. Like a so me and you, like me and you, did not come from money. <laughs> I didn't really have. I had like an okay fridge that had like an ice dispenser growing up. Yeah. But ever since I moved abroad, I have had mini fridges. Yeah. And this is like this thing. It, th you guys are gonna laugh at this from the west. This is in uh, Taichung, by the way. I uh, I uh, asked. Um, so. Um, let's figure this out. Start from the top. Start from the top. Start from the top. So you open it up to expose a fridge. Oh, all right. Lovely. Now you've got wide chill products. Lovely. Don't know what wide it is, but all right, super cooling. So like- That's for meats and stuff. Meats yeah. and cold products. You have this weird box thing here. Mm. Right. And you fill this fucker up and magically through the powers of wizardry and gods, it like goes down into the bottom compartment and it like creates unlimited ice cubes. Before you shut the door, I am gonna grab okay, an Asahi. Yeah, yeah, nice. No, it's still good for a bit. You know, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so that fridge, like for Taiwan, yeah, I it's would say it's huge. Yeah, it's a beast. So then you've got like the middle section, which I had to look this up because I had no idea what the fuck yeah. three doors Do are Western called. fridges have a middle section? I never had a middle section. I never did either. It I was just like, like a only... standard, yeah, occasionally like the freezer. Down the bottom, I think, but... Carmen said, show me the booze, and for him, I grabbed a beer, and he's like, hold it. I'm like, that was for you, Carmen. All right, so... Uh, this is like a special temperature chilled crisp vegetable so produce for, box. For veggies. Yeah, veggie box. And then, like, you've got your, your freezer. And this is that unlimited ice that comes from that box. It's amazing! It's just, and a little scoopy, just... And you can just put ice in your drink anytime you want. And, then you, and you still have... I love you still have ice cube makers, and then... You pull that back that to expose like yeah. a deeper, like a, deeper. Almost like a, not a deep freeze, but like a deeper freezer. Fr freezeception kind yeah. of thing, yeah. Ice is something in Taiwan that like, I've never had the 
luxury of having. <laughs> it is kind of a luxury good out here. Well, because like, you can't, yeah. you, if you can't drink tap water, you just go. You can't like, fucking eat ice. Y- yeah, you need like the the family yeah. mart. Bags. Yeah, you go to family mart, yeah. you buy a bag of ice. Yeah. Okay, so what is this contraption on the top here? Now I I don't really understand them, but they like dry your dishes. And I've tried a sock and an old one before, and it works as well for small clothing items. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just chuck your shit up there, and it don't just put dry. your socks in it. Don't put your socks <laughs> in it. Um, and it just like, it's a place to. I, it's useful for storage, I guess, for plates. Cause you just, I use mine yeah. like when I'm finished washing my clothes. I use it as a dryer. It's, but it, yeah. it uses ultraviolet light to, to kill. De- it's not something. a dishwasher. It it like de sanit. And it, like, it sanitizes? I guess, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, my, my fucking door is wonky as fuck. Yeah, so these things are pretty common, I reckon. Yeah. In at least newish. And then got a double uh, burner, electric burner. Gets the job done. Um, I think new ones, it's always IH or, yeah, uh, like induction. I don't see gas much in the new, new places. As, as Mine's well. gas, but Yours is old. gas. I like the gas more, but. I like it too. Yeah, gas is nice. So it's nice. Um, yes, yeah, right. Um, any burning questions all 111 you you guys have, <laughs> stick them in a super chat, I'll answer them. Um, yeah, so I would say that's pretty much the kitchen. These drawers are like pots, pans, plates, tops, standard stuff, like nothing too different from the West. There is one really bizarre <laughs> feature that's kind of cool that Ooh. I'm as a cooking person. Go on. Now, it took me a while to realize there's a very subtle lip here. So like, shit doesn't just go flying off Oh when yes, you're it, which is actually that, yeah. quite cool. It's I, very helpful. Like sometimes it's surprisingly, like, you don't get like cheese all over the floor and all kinds of crap. Like, yeah, that, that's quite cool. So yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I really like that because like sometimes yeah. like I'll like marinate. Yeah. And, so I'll, I'll like I'll like cook a meat and you leave the meat on like a cutting board and then it like leaks yeah. all over the goddamn floor. It's terrible. I think that you have one as well. Be good, right? Um, my kitchen. My kitchen's like. Probably the same size of this, but take away all the cool shit. (laughs) Like my fridge is probably a quarter of the size of this monstrous fridge. Huge. Yeah, it's a beast. So let's take a look. Oh, and then they also have like beside the kitchen, they have this like coffee, I don't know what you would call this. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to have. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It could be like a little mini bar, you know? Yeah, we're going to shove booze on it, but I, I drank it all in the move, the, the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I need, to, I need to go to the shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn it into a booze, a booze yeah. bench. A booze bench, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so the living room. Now, this friggin' sofa, by the way, the only thing that you've bought, because this is a furnished, I should also mention, I should have mentioned in the beginning. Yeah. This is a furnished apartment, but the yeah. only thing you bought was the TV. And the stand. The stand was cheap. We, so. we've, got, we've got a super chat from Haywood to blow me, it looks, sorry, better than Vanier. <laughs> I used to live in a place called Vanier, Vanier. and that's, a, that's like the hood. Um, okay, so the TV you bought from Costco? Costco, yeah, I did a Costco one. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to buy that, because um, the TV that came with it, it's all right, but I wanted to go hard mm. on like a big, big boy. Um, it does look like, with how massive your living room is, yeah, so that's a it does kind of inch. look a little tiny, like the yeah. ceiling's up there, Yeah. and then like uh, that's your TV. <laughs> on height, it is a- 55. Yeah. Um, and it was quite, yeah, it was, quite, it was all right, I think, the price from Costco. Yeah. yeah. And so, okay, so it came with the TV stand too? No, we bought that separate, but that What? Was, oh, that yeah. Because I yeah. still kind of needed mine. Yeah. I was going to give you mine. Yeah. And then, okay, so you don't, the coffee table, you don't that, need no, to buy. That was came with it. And this so ballin' fucking sofa. Now, just, 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 just to get an understanding of how long the sofa <laughs> is, I made the mistake of sitting down and then, like, immediately falling backwards. Look how long this is. That is insane. I'm not a giant. But yeah, like yeah. your legs. So that's probably going to be uncomfortable. So how do you solve that issue? Like if you want to just sit on a normal sofa. So like, I didn't even realize you could do this, but you like. We have a guest from D Jr. I won't tell you if you're right or wrong, but thank you for Ooh. guessing. So, so the backrest moves forward yeah. so that you can have like a relatively normal sofa. Yeah. And then you can have a sofa party because I can sit here. We can just play with each other's ears. And then we can just play with each other's <laughs> ears. <laughs> yeah, no, this sofa is friggin', uh, it's large. It's huge. It's friggin' huge. Um, now, right now, by the way, I, you, you guys also don't have a bed just yet. No. You, you bought one, it's just not in yet. So this is where you're sleeping. Yeah. How's it been? Um, oh, it's alright. It's, it's better than it's alright. If I've had enough beers, I can sleep anywhere, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, but that will yeah, hopefully come in a couple of weeks. Very nice. The balcony is that way beyond those curtains. I would love to show you guys, but um, I just don't want to dox you. So we're not going to show you that. It's nothing special. It's just like a couple of AC yeah. units and like a decent laundry machine, about, laundry machine, machine yeah. standard shit. And yeah. you guys, it's not really worth. And then um, you guys, did you leave the stand from the last place? I wanted that. Oh, Dave! We the stand. Dave, we left the stand. Yeah, but you didn't want it. Uh, I wanted it. Oh, yeah, well, you did say that. We forgot. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, they're 400 bucks on Shopee. <laughs> uh, it, it's Ramen says, yes, it's in Taichung. That's a painting that our friend Josh did. It is, yeah. It's That's actually, actually, on my arm. It's actually it's, on it's, your it's arm, arm, yeah. Arm, yeah. Yes. So that painting Amazing. of like a phoenix, because he's a, an 18 year old white girl. <laughs> it's also on his arm. No, it is a sick painting and a sick tattoo too. So yeah, yeah the sick eighteen year old. Now the reason I told you guys you can't see everything is because there's also an upstairs, and like from this angle you can really see how kind of like modern it is. Uh, this is so. I'm gonna say rare. Yeah, I'm gonna say like yeah. most Taiwanese apartments. Like I don't want you guys to watch this video and think like, oh, I'm gonna move to Taiwan and all apartments gonna look like this. They no, will not. I feel like the owner got in a contractor and did whatever this is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is like, okay, and then we've got like the computer area. Did you pay yeah. for any of those? No, uh, the Mac didn't come with it. But yeah, obviously, yeah. but like the desk. <laughs> no, the desk came with it. I had the chair we bought. The chair we bought. Oh, did you? Yeah, she wanted from like a, Ikea? From, I don't know. Somewhere on internet, yeah. Oh, nice. And um, then, like, that's the TV. And the TV comes out, right? Yeah, this is Don't, the old TV. I need we're we're not going to pull it out because we'll smash yeah. the laptop yeah and then alan pointed out the aussie flag <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> uh, okay so the bedroom the mattress where the magic happens <laughs> i don't know where the light switch is no one one on. you don't know where the <laughs> light switch is <laughs> it's outside so one funny thing we pointed out was like this is like such a modern by the way dave do you want to be in this video I should have asked you before I started filming about it. Okay. Halfway through. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I forgot to ask. Okay, so like, like how like new and let me avoid Dave and, new and like modern the apartment is, and then like they decided to stick this like nineteen oh, eighties. <laughs> Rose fucking bed shit. frame thing. Oh. So your bed's coming in a little while, and then yeah. this is where it's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so and then this also has an AC. Where's the AC? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. just above the. Yeah, so you got AC, clothes and shit. Sweet, yeah. sweet, uh, sweet. But that is the oldest fucking thing I've Yeah, ever like seen. what the hell made you decide it's to do like that? It's like they found this box on the building site from like the former thing that was here and then they just kept it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or they just ran out of money or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, also a huge thanks to the super chat that came in. That was a, that was oh, a big help. I'm struggling because I'm not doing content, which is why, that's why I'm here because I didn't have a video done. Um, so the, co so the, how do you call this thing? Closet. I don't know. I think it's probably a design. I kind of dig it that it doesn't yeah. have doors. I wasn't sure because I'm a doorman. Like, You're a doorman? I'm a doorman. I'm a bit I'm of a doorman, doorman myself, but like, uh, it's kind of easier if you don't have to fucking open them. I just realized this. I was like, I just walk and fucking Yeah, picture. grab a shirt yeah, and yeah. fucking Bob's your uncle. Um, I don't mind it. I think it will be alright. Percentage wise, how much of this is Dave's clothes? Uh, so this is mine. And then the rest is Dave's. So, so a third of it is, or a quarter of it is yours, rather. A quarter, rather. if that, yeah. 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 No, I mean, decent bedroom. And it's also cool because you can like, that's the rest of the apartment. You can kind of, it's like, yeah. an, uh, it's like a blind, like an office blind thing. I don't really understand. Yeah, that. like an open concept yeah, type like, thing. Hello, and then, do you know? Uh, goodbye. Naughty time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, when me and Alan are sat on the sofa? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, very nice. So, um, but that's not all, because there is a second floor. Like a half a floor? I don't really. Well, that's not really a second floor, yeah, is it? It's just like a loft. Yeah, so these stairs go. Sorry, this is a really like closed angle. These stairs go up into like a half floor. And these, by the way, I should point out like, there's a kind of an interesting triangle lighting thing. I don't really know how to explain that going up. So we go up the stars. That opens up a little farm door to keep the cattle out. Don't really know what this is for, but it's for hiding from your enemies. So when I'm drunk, I just get put up here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get out. 
Not I just time. spat, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's his timeout zone. That's my timeout zone. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of Dave stuff up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just Dave now. You're just Dave. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. Uh, like a, I guess if you really wanted to, you could turn that into a bedroom. But it'd be a bit crap. Yeah, Alan yeah. says loft apartments are where it's at, and he's probably That's right. True, he, lives in, he lives in one there's, as well. There's more. There's, so I've made like a, a really sad. Yeah, so like, <laughs> like that could be a bedroom, but he's decided to turn this little area <laughs> into like Harry Potter's. It's like, it's, it's like a it's wanking Harry, den. A wanking den. <laughs> yeah, and like a makeshift bed. I mean, it's kind of cool. So, do they sell this place as like a two bedroom? Uh, I have no idea. I think they design this place as more like a workspace slash. Yeah. Seven. That's kind of what I was feeling because I was playing yeah. with these lights. Like you can adjust these lights to yeah, move along this rail frame, uh -huh. and it looks you like. You can open up a table as a work table. Oh yeah. For like a midget, but. Yeah, like it looks like it looks like like a really expensive studio. So like some yeah. goon could sit there. Oh, uh, like I need to take yoga classes before I can even operate up here. Like, yeah. I'm pretty stiff. Han W says this is like a bachelor's dream apartment. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So I couldn't afford it that if I was a is basically it. That's the whole living room, computer area, yeah. whatever. I don't know. So that's it. That's the whole place. I think. Have we missed anything? I think we did. All right. So I don't know that you would be able to like. Someone just said like, oh, it's like a small family. I don't know that you'd be able. To. I guess if you had like one kid, but then. In this, these kind of, in these kinds of apartment buildings these days, you can generally find like an actual two bedroom for about the same price, which we haven't said yet. Um, yeah. Because like it, it is, there's no physical wall between that bedroom and like the rest. It's like a fence thing, like open, semi open. That's true too. So I mean, the kid wouldn't get their own place. It's like yeah, I don't know. It's I feel right. it, yeah, very like professional workplace kind of thing, like yeah. youngish. All right, Alan has guessed 22K. Now, we haven't told you the price yet because I wanted you guys to stick around and figure it out. What do you pay for this modern, brand spanking new, single, uh, kind of two bedroom, I don't know, whatever, apartment? Oh, don't we can answer that? Yes. All right, so <laughs> we do have a car park as well, so yeah. that's included with that, which is normally like about 2K a month extra, uh -huh. but all in, Alan said, so we got 30 there, what did Alan say, 22? Yeah. He got 30, it's on the second. Yes, but so the price is really important, at least here in my country. Oh, I didn't know that. 21, 5, 5, 5, that's a good so that's 25. Uh, it comes in, oh, it comes in at 28. 28,000 NT for this apartment, which, oh fuck, what was it in America? Uh, I think it was 950 US. 950 US for this place. Yeah. And in so, Canadian, that was like over $1,200. Yeah. So. Now, if you don't have a car though, you can save yourself a hundred bucks off that. It's like 80 US. Yeah. Like 6, 000, 000, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Now the housing market in the West right now, I say the West is in like Canada, the US, Australia, New Zealand, fucking the UK, Germany, yeah. Yeah. France. It's unbearably expensive in the West right now, so this might be laughably cheap. From all, from where I'm on, from Auckland, this, you'd be barking mad to rent something for that price. Like, it doesn't exist. Right. It's not physically possible. Someone asked how many ping? I, that's a good question. 22? 22? 22-ish. I don't know if that counts the loft space area though. I don't know how to yeah. translate that from. That's like time on the 80 meters. 80 meters. I think it's by 3.3 3 or whatever. Right. It's not huge. No. Uh, but. The sofa takes up about. Yeah, the sofa takes up most of it. Space, yeah. yeah, so 28 grand. And the only reason, really, that you guys can really afford to live here is simply because you live together. Yeah, so you can so split it's the rent. Rent. Yeah, right. so it's not me just balling on 28k for rent. Uh, how much. <laughs> Josh, I've known Josh for years. The, this kind of apartment in San Francisco would cost like 3k US. Yeah, yeah New Zealand would probably be about 2,500, 2,000, 2,500. And, uh, but, uh, same as the lot, yeah, yeah. or both are yeah. expensive, yeah. Um, if it's, uh, the other thing we didn't mention is there is like facilities, community facilities, so like there is a limited hours pool. 
um, basically weekend pool. Um, yeah. it's, it's nice, but yeah, they always have kind of like apartment rules that change all the time, and they are different between each apartment building. Um, it's got like a little mini gym and like a reading and like a courtyard. Um, yeah, I will say yeah. his his lobby, which I didn't film because I don't think I'm allowed to, is amazing. Yeah, it's nice, but you don't live in the lobby then. No, you don't, yeah. but like when you walk yeah. in, you definitely feel like you're balling. Yeah, um, and then you wear a singlet and from like your 50 dollars singlet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the average salary for a foreigner here, like 60 to 70 60, grand, yeah. say. So this would be half, half your income. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, like 40, 45 percent or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So I sent you a photo of some questions I got on Instagram right. about this apartment. Again, if you guys have any screaming questions, super chat them. I will uh, answer them as quickly as I can. But my arm is freaking on fire because I'm a weak son of a bitch. <laughs> is this? Uh, I don't know. Dude, is this yours? Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, I'm pretty sure Jocelyn has been in like fuck. I mean, Dave has been in tons of videos. So I don't know why I'm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to protect her identity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, let's just pop that there because my. All right, um, as well, are they noisy and what's the cockroach situation like? What's noisy? I'm, I'm assuming the apartment. Um, the noise cancellation in here is a mean. That's one thing, yes. Yeah, so noise cancellation. Noise, it, it feels like noise cancellation. Yeah. Um, yeah, very briefly, like a, a old, couple older places I used to stay here, the, the walls are pretty thin. Uh, this place, it's like a concrete bunker. Um, including the doors, they're all like double glazed and shit. So you really, you can't hear it. Like, yeah, it's n very good. You mm. can't hear your neighbor at all. Um, very, very good. And the door is like a bunker door that you need a code to get in. So security will be really good. Not that it's a hot bed zone for criminal crime, activity. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. If you want to know I'm eating, I'm eating dried fish. Uh, what really makes his stuff. apartment nicer? A juxtaposition video between yours and this old and new. Literally everything. You just mentioned noise cancellation. I live on, um, I can't tell you, but it's an extremely loud, busy street. And I live on like the 13th floor. And I've been here, I don't live on the 13th what floor. What do you do? You don't live on the 11th floor, you're on the 12th. Yeah, I don't remember. 11th? <laughs> I don't know. 16th? It's like high up. Yeah. I can hear everything. I can hear the policemen downstairs blowing their whistles. I I can hear all those cunts in their Maseratis with those stupid sawed off exhaust pipes. Like. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear everything. It's terrible. And my, my apartment is older and the walls are thinner and mm. the doors don't seal properly. And so if you're someone who can't deal with noise, apartment like mine, it's just not going to cut it. It's, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. Like, and, and my neighbors like, when my neighbors walk by and I've got a neighbor with dogs, yeah. it's like they're in my apartment. Yeah. It's ridiculous. My so first one was the same. Like, a, yeah, it was the same. Like, you could hear everyone. And I lived in Japan before where it is literally origami walls like that. It's just thin <laughs> paper walls. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, this, the, if you, when you look at an apartment and it's newer, just give the walls a tap if they feel like concrete um, and feel for heavy doors, uh, then you'll know you can have a real big noise inside and you won't really be heard. Uh, which is nice because there's a lot of people living here mm. in the building yeah so that's one way it makes it nicer the other way is like the fridge is better the cupboards are better the furniture is better i like the lighting the is island better. in the kitchen i, I do too yeah. but it's like such a that, that's such a half <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's not quite there yeah this place is yeah. more modern he has a swimming pool he has a parking space for a car he has a parking space for a scooter i have none of that um it's it's just nicer in literally every way you can imagine. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's a shitty answer or not to your question, but yeah. And if you guys have any questions, pop them, pop them here. I'll answer them as well. These um, are from Instagram. Very, very disproportionately cheaper than buying, I agree. Um, I think Taiwan is a much better renter's market than a buyer's market. And that's about it, really, yeah. I think totally, though. But yeah, yeah but like, I feel like that's the way it always was supposed to be in the West. Yeah. But then that, now it's yeah. like, your mortgage payments are going to be basically the same as rent. So in the West, it never made sense to rent. No. But in Taiwan, rent is so much cheaper. Yeah. Although I feel like it's changing these days. A little bit. Yeah, it's getting, it's, Taiwan's been getting a bit, especially this area though, because it is, I've read in the, the thing, the news, um, like the large area of Taiwan is one of the faster growing places in the country. So. It's the fastest growing, oh, not this, I think mean, like it's like Nago and Taipei, and then this one around the Costco is like yeah. the second fastest. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, it's crazy how fast so, this place is growing. 
Still be cheap. It's still cheaper than Taipei though. It's getting there though. It's getting, I don't know. How much? Do I you wonder think what, what do you think we could get in Taipei for twenty eight grand? I don't know, but one of my cousins he lives in Taipei and he pays twenty two k for a studio. So like ah, a tiny studio. Mm. So I think twenty eight probably one. Yeah. The last one was no question, it was just a, someone saying mostly grimy and old have to pay premium for somewhere more livable. But that's a good point though, like so someone said most apartments are grimy and old. And mm -hmm. what a lot of people don't understand before they come to Taiwan is like, it's not Japan. It's no. not like new, it's not like Japan, the reason Japan looks so new and modern is because they constantly, they won't tear down the whole building but they'll take the outside off the building and they'll replace it with some new shit. Yeah. So it's constantly looking like nice and new and lovely. Yeah. Whereas here in Taiwan, they don't do that. Like the, the, building, the buildings will just stay here mm. and it rains all the time and there's pollution in the air. So it's a lot of acid rain. And so a 10 year old apartment here in Taiwan looks like dog shit. Yeah, it looks, a 10 year old apartment here looks yeah. like it's a hundred years old. Yeah. It's really bad. And uh, that's one of the complaints that uh, Wu Fong had. He's a, he's a, I don't know if I can say this, but he's, he's a Turkish guy. He's very, very famous here in Taiwan. And he complained. I won't say complained. He just said things that could be better here in Taiwan. One of the things was the way that buildings uh, look here. And I could, I agree. Yeah. Taiwanese buildings look like they're, they're, they look horrible. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's very, uh, I call it local. Local. <laughs> okay. But they're grimy. I won't. Yeah. I won't even call them dirty. Although some of them are, they're just grimy. You get those typhoons every year, then it gets battered, and then like the tiling of the tile. Yeah, the tiling things, will fall yeah. down. It's humid. It's yeah. wet. Um, and like, like he said, like you're paying premium for this place. You're paying twenty eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fucking pretty penny. It's yeah. For, but by Taiwanese yeah. standards, by, by Taiwanese standards, standards. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty penny. And so, you, you have to if you want a nice new place, you're gonna have to pay those. Those, those monies. Yeah. Lucas, we should all move to Sweden. I don't want to live in a barn. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lucas's hometown looks lovely, by the way. Have you seen him on Instagram? Yeah, it looks quite pretty. pretty yeah, nice. yeah. Lots of green, but it is like a barn. <laughs> it's a barn. It lives <laughs> in a barn. Do you yeah. have any other questions? No. I need the four you sent me. Was that all four? Yeah. I answered three. No, no, that was four, yeah. Yeah, nicer, noisy. Oh, did we Super. answer this one? Are they noisy? Yeah, oh, we didn't ask about the cockroaches. The cockroaches. The cockroach, okay, I'd say Taiwan has three seasons. <laughs> they have fall, summer, and cockroach season. season. <laughs> and uh, now it's cockroach season, it's disgusting. Mm. Um, anyways. It's think, impossible to completely remove them from anywhere, I think. No. But a lot less than previous places I've stayed, like a lot less, uh, but I have only been here for like two days, and haven't been any, but, um, if you go yeah. to the street lately, like, have you noticed they're doing like the cockroach the fumigating shit? Yeah, they, yeah, they like blast some like weird gas into the sewer system and then the cockroaches yeah, so freak weird. out and they leave the sewer system and they die on the streets. And so there are, I'll say hundreds of cockroaches on a street desperately yeah. getting out of the sewers and then dying there. And it's just, Disgusting. Yeah, it's grim. Yeah, <laughs> it's grim. Um, all right, let's do a couple of minutes of questions. So I'm gonna pay attention, more attention to the chat. I apologize. Expensive for Taiwan. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Expensive for Taiwan is less than a third of what you pay here in California for that price. Yeah, California is yeah. ridiculous. I don't know how anyone can afford to live in California. Uh, it's so gross. I hate cockroaches so much. Yeah, that that's yeah. Taiwan, man. Yeah. I just signed a new lease up in Taipei. Uh, apartment shopping is rough up there. The whole island, man. I, I don't. I think the, I think the reason apartments are so expensive to purchase here. I mean, like to like buy, like more, like not rent, but mortgage. I'm bleeding viewers here. No one cares. Um, <laughs> but to to buy is like because usually a family won't own just one property. Sorry, big question. I'm a supplerer man myself. I'm an Asahi man myself. But which makes sense. Cheers, yeah, by the way. it does. It does. He like, cheers with me in yeah. Asahi. I cheers yeah, with uh, Asahi. Yeah. But it's like they like both our children. We love them both. I just like this one more. I find this one more refreshing in summer. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these five. I can't really read it. 
Which website do you use to search to rent furnished apartments in Taiwan slash Taipei? Five nine one. Yeah, five nine one. That's the most popular um, one. If you don't, if you if you can't read Chinese, you might get a bit of a hand with it. But it's you learn a couple of things. You just yeah, can't, it's not like, too it's, hard it's not to figure out. Yeah. Five nine one is the most yeah, popular. Yeah, you just go rent and choose your place. Yeah, um, I'm drinking some Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Han. Good man. I'm sorry you died in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Hello, friends. I will come to Taipei in August to get a couple to get double a double degree. degree. Wow, smarty well, pants well. over there. Uh, just opened up in Chrome. Auto translate is bomb. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, five nine one. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Nice. Hong Kong. Don't think there's any competition. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I dated this <laughs> Hong Kongese girl. <clears throat> Steve. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> and she was saying like, Taiwanese people uh, or Hong Kongese people don't even care about where they're gonna live. They're worried about where they're gonna die. <laughs> Because not only do they have nowhere to live, there's nowhere <laughs> no to bury anyone. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how yeah. little land they yeah. have. I live in a small town in northeast Taiwan called what? Aldi. 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 My rent is around four hundred American dollars. That feels for a small town in northeast Taiwan. That sounds like a lot. U.S. I don't know what that is. I need a twelve k. That's It's ten grand. Yeah. It's like yeah, twelve grand. That's a lot. Um, cause Unless I, it's like a nice room. Yeah, it might be nice. Yeah, like I, my first place here was about, it was a studio, older, it was okay. Um, lived there for like 18 months. It was 8,000 a month. Um, yeah, it was pretty old, like 270 US a month. Yeah, but it had like a TV, big bed. I feel like the inside was kind of like um, it was. Yeah, it, was like, it wasn't shithole. It was like a in-betweener, but like, again, shit noise. Canceling yeah. is like cool in there. Um, but it was alright, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. For a single bloke at the time, yeah. Average rent in Orlando, Florida is... What? I don't know square feet, though. Well, That's big, I think. Um, 1800 US dollars? That's ridiculous. Orlando, I don't know what Oh, that is quite expensive. That's like 90 yeah, square meters. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah. I don't know. Rent in Taiwan is getting insane. Um, Purchasing a house here is really difficult. A lot of people own many different properties, so it's difficult. Like, if you were, say, like a young Taiwanese couple that just graduated university and you wanted to purchase a house, That's a what did you say? <laughs> what was the best house you both lived in? Probably the one I'm in right now. Probably the one I grew <laughs> up in. I've never been able to outdo my parents as far as. They didn't even have a house, so they just rent, so. Um, they, cause they've moved houses about eight times. So, yeah. So this one is the nicest place you've ever For me, like, because, like, since I, I kind of count it as, like, from, from leaving home. Yeah. Yeah, like, I've stayed in some pretty, pretty dung holes. Hey, Dave, what's the nicest apartment you've ever lived in or house? I rented an apartment in, in um, Bournemouth. Bournemouth? My friend, yeah, in the UK. In the UK. In the UK. I'm just repeating what you say so they can yeah, hear. Yeah, like, <laughs> two bedrooms, like a brand new apartment. Yeah. And I think we pay twelve hundred thousand pounds. Twelve hundred what? thousand pounds. Twelve hundred pounds. Twelve hundred pounds. Twelve hundred pounds. Oh, twelve. Twelve. One thousand two hundred pounds. Sorry, twelve hundred pounds a month. So oh. that's like forty something k New Taiwan dollars a month. You can afford that. We share like half and flat. I think you should pay like. 50 pound more than I did because her room was like she stayed in the master bedroom, has her own bathroom, so she paid a tiny bit more. Yeah, and it's brand new, furnished, and nice. And it's in a, in a town center as well, like, like one minute from the town center. Still, though, again, maybe like once you put it in, into NT, my mind immediately Sounds goes expensive. Yeah, but like in the UK, it's like that's nothing. It's mm. actually still quite expensive, but it's nice. Yeah. And we spent a lot of time at home, so I think it was it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find like that's one of the things, the differences between living in Taiwan and the West is that in Taiwan you spend quite a lot of time outdoors. Not necessarily outdoors in nature, but I mean like when you're going out to eat or like different restaurants or dessert places or tea shops. Whereas in the UK, you finish work and you just go home. Yeah, normally people always go, go to your place like pre-drink. Yeah. For going out, and it's so expensive to drink out. Yeah. So you spend a lot of time inviting your friends over, and 
Mm-hmm. Right, so you have a place to, place to live, yeah. And yeah. Like, but I do social. spend a lot, of, a lot of time at home yeah. in Taiwan as well because I work from home, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I probably spend 20 hours a day at home. I just never live. Jeez. Uh, yeah, you look at a percent mm. of your monthly salary, that's true. I think like the key is like the kind of max you should ever ever really spend it. I think I've heard is about 30, 33% of your salary on like mortgage or rent is like a rule of thumb. And 30%? 30 is like a maximum. A max, right? Yeah, like, really? a, like a ceiling, 30 to 30%. For Taiwan? Anywhere, just in general, like double income. Dude, where we're from though? Uh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> that's literally impossible. Yes, no, I know. That's the that's why the rule of thumb is us. People are struggling in the West because they can't reach the rule of thumb of like 30, 33. Yeah. Alan said that when you look into the comments, it's like you're staring into a <laughs> Yeah. How much is this? I, can't, I don't know. The I think I missed it. We said it was 28K. Yeah. Um, I miss it though. I live in Georgia now, and it's significantly more expensive compared to when I live in Taiwan. That uh, guitar musician Seven said that. And mm. Georgia, Georgia? Where the fuck is Georgia? USA, the state of Georgia? Is that I'm that's assuming, under South Carolina, I think. I assume it's not the country of Georgia. I think that place is quite cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, as far as live stream goes, this one's quite short. I apologize, <laughs> uh, but I appreciate the the, 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 the super chat I, I got. Thank you very much. Um, I gotta get out of these guys' hair because gonna I'm, go play have a big dance tournament next. Yeah. What? No. I'm not going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got work tomorrow, and uh, so do they. So it's a Monday night here in Taiwan. Uh, I guess we got one more. One more from Maitland Mazina. What is a typical procedure to finding rentals in Taiwan? In Australia, it's common to just go online to find apartments or houses to rent. Uh, best websites to go to look. Uh, same in Taiwan. Five yeah. nine one. Yeah. Five nine one. Same and, kind of thing as Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Five nine one. Good to see you, Prosley. I haven't checked in for a while. Glad to see you're doing well, guys. Take care. Uh, Thumbbusters, <laughs> you better, you better stick around, son. I mean, for like future videos. This one's gonna end soon. Prosley, I have a question. Do Taiwanese people love buying property as much as Chinese people do? Yes, they do. Cat, <laughs> thanks for the tour. Nice apartment, Andre. That's Cat. She's a. Oh, she's thank a you. Friend. She's cool. She lives in Vancouver. She's a millionaire. She's no, joking. She lives know. in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... Joe Jesus! There hey, we go. Thumbbusters. Hey. Have a beer on me. We, we will. fucking will, Thumbbusters. I'm going to remember Thumbbusters' name for the next... That's a good name. That's a fucking fantastic <laughs> name. Um, cheers, guys. Have a good night. Thanks, Han. Cheers, Han. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed this apartment. All so, right, catch you guys later. Yeah. Go follow Andre at uh, cuntmaster69 <laughs> <laughs> at 420.com. I don't know. <laughs> All right, see you. Bye.